CFTCs around the world are starting to wake up to these things. CFTC, SEC, they've got uh, lines that you can just toss of, uh, you know, if you find a scam project, but we, you know, it's, it's, it's within our industry to make sure that we're helping police and making sure that it is the right engineers, the right projects that are uh, not uh, getting clouded by the scams of the world. Next slide. And this is, this is the last slide of the presentation. I'll go into a little something afterwards. But to me, this is very important in, in uh, Chicago. Uh, actually, a couple months before on their, on their beta network, Open Finance was the first secondary trading system, secondary alternative trading system uh, that, um, that uh, had a trade. Um, so this, what this means is that the registered securities uh, that you can create issuance now for digital assets uh, now has secondary markets that have been approved that can you, you can trade in between them. Right? So in America, that's interesting. We still have to pivot, play by the rules and the laws as they currently stand until they get modified, and we, we make right protocol for exchanging value all over the world—a much simpler, easier process. Uh, we still have to kind of uh, trojan horse our way into the system, make sure that they know we're playing by the rules that they set out. So that is 2018, 2019. People hopefully are going to start using more of this stuff. You know, we just played a big game of battle trivia upstairs on EOS Links, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll get over a couple hundred thousand users a day on some of these networks to start. Uh, but we got to make things easier. We have to make things more accessible. And that's that's very exciting. So thank you, everybody. And, you know, I'll, I'll take. I think some questions are really Yeah, just one question. Somebody like me who grew up uh, in the '90s but didn't get a chance to really dive into the cyberpunk. Where, where would you recommend someone start? Um, you know, a, lot, a lot of the open source communities, well, obviously the cyberpunk manifesto. Going back through uh, the Toad email archive is a, is a lot of fun, uh, so I definitely do suggest that. Uh, there's a book called The Cathedral and the Bazaar, if you haven't read, that is a really interesting book on open source that had come out at the time, so that's where we start. Cool. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Before I hand it over to our next speaker, we just have a quick announcement from my man Rob Rigo from US Detroit. Come on down, Rob! Yeah. Great talk, Tim. Um, I just wanted to notify everyone we're doing a travel reimbursement fund so you can have part of your travel costs reimbursed. Uh, our team will be set up in the conference room down the hall just past the uh, cafe on the right. So you can come in through the afternoon. We'll set up after lunch, so like 1 p.m. and onwards. Just come give us an ES account where you travel from. Thank you. Our final speaker of the adoption track, we've got Alex Melikoff from Equilibrium, who's going to talk to us about collateralized stablecoins on EOS. He needs one moment. Give us a poem! I'm not, I'm not very poetic, unfortunately. I love dance. <laughs> You're losing your audience, Alex. <laughs> All right, here you go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for warming up. Uh, hello, guys. How are you today? Great. All good? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for having us today here. And first of all, I want to say thanks to amazing team of US42 who made this happen eventually, the EPP Summit. Thank you guys. Yeah, and, uh, hopefully you also enjoyed uh, the fire festival happening the past two, two days. Okay, so uh, yeah, to kick off a couple of words about myself. Uh, I'm Alex Melikov, uh, and alongside with the role of the CEO of uh, Equilibrium of USD Stablecoin, 
I'm also the co-founder of Changeway. Uh, it's uh, along with uh, Shapeshift, the biggest exchanger on the market. So we have uh, certain traction in crypto space uh, to the date, and uh, I mean my team, we have certain expertise in crypto markets. And um, yeah, all, all this time actually we're feeling the lack of uh, you know proper stable coins, having the certain experience with the exchanging cryptocurrencies. Um, we also wanted to have something which will be the reliable store of value of dollar value and also and also being high transactable cryptocurrency and backed in well transparent way by some some liquid assets, right? And uh, for sure we, we all know uh, the drawbacks of tether model of USDT, uh, which is non-transparent and uh, actually relies on centralized infrastructure. Uh, but hopefully uh, there are new asset class coming to the market, which is decentralized stable coins. And yeah, please next slide, guys. So meet equilibrium. Uh, we, we're working on equilibrium. It's the framework uh, based on US blockchain, uh, which actually combines the, I would say, institutional grade performance of US, uh, the tries and tested models, uh, which actually have already been rolled out to uh, other blockchains on Ethereum, and reliable infrastructure. So that's that's we are, we're combining in at once and having like in in equilibrium framework. We see a lot of uh, a lot of use case for the USDT stablecoins, including obviously trading, lending, borrowing, hedging, and uh, even quotes for cryptocurrencies for decentralized exchanges. So uh, yeah, the next slide, please, guys. Um, we had a bit traction. Uh, we have been launched uh, in. Um, I would say technically in March, but officially on uh, the US World Expo here in San Francisco in mid April. Uh, and yeah, we guess we're in the production, so if you want, you can have uh, the hands on experience on EOSDT.com. Uh, actually, we have already culturalized on our smart contracts more than 2.6 million EOS. So uh, that actually makes us one of the biggest decentralized applications. Uh, among all, all others on, on the markets. Uh, also, we are working hard on partnerships and listings. Uh, currently, EOST stablecoin is listed on HitBTC, which is the major market to the days. Also, on Bancor, on several decentralized exchanges. Uh, recently, we have integrated with Token Pocket. Thanks, Marcus. <laughs> Also, uh, also we have uh, have done integration with uh, Udex, uh, with uh, Lynx wallets. Um, yeah, so a lot of stuff happening. Next slide, please, guys. Uh, if you don't mind, I briefly explain you how it works. So, uh, just for example, if you have some US on in your pockets, you can you can culturalize it in order to, to keep up with its upside potential, for instance, right? So you virtualize it and get the dollar value in USDT stable points. So then you can tr transact it to some other cryptocurrency to increase exposure uh, to other, other cryptocurrencies, so do what you want. Oh, something happened to the slides. Hey guys, what's up? We're back, we're back. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it happens. Uh, okay, so it, it was the, the third one, I guess. Uh huh. The next one. Oh, the previous one, please. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks so much. So basically, you're culturalizing your crypto, uh, and against the over with uh, with. Uh, I would say volatile cryptocurrency, you generate USD stable points, uh, having the universal store of value, and that's actually how it works, right? So, and every time you can inspect so that uh, all the supply of uh, stable points are backed in surplus with uh, with uh, some liquid assets, which is currently US cryptocurrency. Yeah, next slide, please. 
So uh, yes, uh, having having this traction to the date, and so so many many U.S. cryptocurrency on our smart contracts, we feel uh, a lot of responsibility for that, right? And uh, now I'm going to share with you some some insights on our further roadmap, what actually we're going to to implement, um, and. Then, for, 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 from my perspective, that will uh, have uh, input to the whole ecosystem of, uh, of EOS. So now, now we're working on integration with Rex. Uh, hopefully, it will be released within uh, within the next month. And everything what, what we are detailing is actually our so-called summer plans, uh, plans for this summer. So uh, here we see it's it's rather rather I would say. Simple model, so we will be staking from our collateral pool the US currency to Rex, and then all the incomes, all the revenue from Rex will be redistributed across uh, our community uh, among the initial issuers of USD stablecoin, so they will benefit from that. Also, partially this revenue will be redistributed to uh, buying out nuts from, uh, from the open market. And then these nuts will be burned uh, in order to, you know, to maintain the deflation model of, of nuts uh, or utility tokens. Oh, the next slide, please. Uh, so another another important, I would say, crucial feature, which is very important to the infrastructure, and you guys uh, being here in this room, being uh, block, block producers, uh, I, I suggest you to pay attention to that and keep an eye on this feature. So first we will set up our proxy, um, here's our account, and uh, yeah, actually we're going to implement the voting for block producers so that NUT holders will um, actually state NUTs to governance contracts, vote for both uh, block producers list, and our proxy will stake US from our collection for these block producers. Next slide please, guys. Um, also, we, um, we're going to implement uh, the decentralized ownership for our smart contract, and now we're in the process of setting up the multi sig for, for the ownership of smart contracts. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're in talks with uh, several block producers, some of them here in this room, uh, regarding uh, having them in, on our multi sig. And the next step, uh, hopefully, will be in the Q1 2020. We'll implement a decentralized deployment of smart contracts, decentralized updates through through governance mechanism on, on our framework. Next slide, please. So we're very, very, very excited with uh, everything what's happening in uh, in US space uh, because uh, it actually demonstrates uh, the unity and uh, I would say mutual su mutual support of the US community. Uh, a lot of a lot of stuff happening, a lot of uh, huge applications rolling out to to the mainnet of US, and now we're integration. We're going to do the integration with Diffuse, which will provide uh, the uh, history plugin for for our uh, for our infrastructure. Uh, also, we're going to integrate with the DEP network, uh, which actually uh, would lead to diversification of our oracles, so that we have. Uh, that we have price feeds from multiple sources, including oracles on on that network, and uh, we're looking forward to partnerships, guys. So, if you have any suggestions or ideas on partnership, let us know. Uh, yeah, so the potential partners here, uh, maybe we'll have uh, even some input to to the real world. Yeah. So, uh, the next slide, please. And everything, this everything would not would not be possible without tremendous team, very dedicated, which we have in in including the Equilibrium framework. Uh, a couple of guys here, let's meet Josh Goodbye, our chief counsel. He's here in this room, uh, alongside with the role of chief counsel in, uh, in Equilibrium. He's also the uh, general counsel of Hobby Global. Um, Kyle Ellicott, um, he, San Francisco guy, is based here in the area. Uh, Roman Abramov, Dave Esky, former executive director of Goldman Sachs, Yves Reno, yeah, so a lot of a lot of guys. Yeah, the last one. And uh, Equilibrium loves you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so feel free, please. 
do me a favor, contact me, provide us with the feedback, uh, get on your hands-on experience on the www.eosdt.com. Uh, keep in touch. If you guys have any questions, feel free to, to ask me. Thank you so much. Alex, that concludes the adoption track. Um, so I was your MC, Daniel Keyes, on the Theos Nation. You can find me at Chill Sauce on Telegram or Daniel underscore Keys on Twitter. Um, to take over now the infrastructure track, I'm going to hand it over to my man, Luis Indeed from Theos Rio. Hello, everyone. Good morning. We're Glad to coordinate the infrastructure track of the BB Summit. And I'd like to open it with the, what we had in the keynote from uh, Timothy Lewis. And now I would like to invite uh, the, the people that are going to present on the debate on the, on the first panel the central possibilities of decentralizing the internet, where the mediator is going to be served from Attic Labs. Igor from News Rio. I would also like to invite Siet uh, from Rio's Cafe. to upload here uh, videos and uh, other copyright companies try to struggle in and it was censorship. The next step was the torrent. Who ever used the torrent? Uh, I think it will be like, uh, it may be illegal in the European Union and uh, in the United States, but uh, from Ukraine where I come, like, nobody is here, so everybody is <laughs> using torrents. And uh, for me, it's like one of my favorite technologies. And uh, I've made uh, several projects in the torrents, but it still can be resistant by uh, the people who don't want uh, that the dry material or other uh, thing will be distributed. So, and now for the, like, 20 years we have the blockchain, which can solve many problems of the censorship. First is the payments, another is storage, and uh, the last one is computing. So we have hosting, we have payments, and we have competition problem. So congratulations, we are in the next stage. 